friends once again i am with you all having a discussion on certain topics that interest or that are reasons for concern for india our country before i proceed for this discussion today i will just request you all first of all not only to like and share my uploads but also to subscribe to my channel which is alok kumar india friends today i will not take too much of your time and today i am going to concentrate only on certain topics for the details of the topics that i am going to discuss today i will just request you all to go through the description that is in the upload below let me begin today i am going to discuss the hardest 15 facts or truths about india today and these all 15 truths are not only really important they need hardest of our attention they need the minutest details to be known and they need our best of attention to be attended and to solve them so that we are on the path of growth path of normalcy path of uh, uh, overall happiness and uh, uh, whatever we call for the country not only really for the country but for the masses also let me begin with you all the first of all i will tell you indian economy is now almost dead and chokes fully completely on 31st march 2020 you know the reasons demonetization and gst these two were the reasons which have culminated into choking of indian economy corona after that has destroyed it further making it oxygenless for the last two months we are all experiencing number two economic fails on all parameters making it worse since independence in the last 73 years whatever we have achieved we are coming to not zero vacuum growth is completely destroyed government is just a silent spectator helpless not able to do anything gdp is likely to contract by one third in the current financial year 2020 2021 and it is going to be around 150 lakh crores very sorry state of figures third corona virus we are experiencing total lockdown without any proper logic thought and planning no in hindsight not only really in hindsight but in at the beginning itself it was sure to bring harsh sest uh, memories of our life and it was sure to put us into a lot of trouble when it was implemented now government fourth government is not able to balance lives and livelihoods resulting into destruct, destruction of both opened liquor shops displaying total bankruptcy they do not know whether they need lives they need livelihoods they need income or they need to save lives of the people who are exposed to this sort of scenario next saving lives is just for name sake it's a joke without actually meaning anything can be seen from lack of masks ppes testing kits quarantine centers awareness programs etc etc et whatever you call it if the government is serious they should have taken care of all these things from the beginning itself which did not take place next is common people are fighting daily day in day out all problems like unemployment inflation income loss business loss demonetization gst total lockdown women and child abuse kashmir corona etc 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 you can just go on adding etc because the problems galore solutions rare with no support from government government is not able to do anything government does not know what to do government doesn't know how to do government doesn't know when to do this is the problem with our country now next india is expert in aping aping means copying copying from west here they are everywhere but uh, without any brain or without any application of brain we are aping with gaping holes we do not know how we should apply locally all the solutions or all the ideas that we import from import from other countries or that we import globally it simply copies from foreign countries just for examples i tell you lockdown they imported from china without thought how to localize it honking horns they imported from usa not to know how to utilize it suppressing of people and their intentions and their honest intentions they have imported from russia and china not to not, do not know how to channelize it and felicitating medical staff for hospitals they have imported from foreign countries like western countries some countries they have done it 
by different different means and they are here they are putting flower petals on them but again at the cost of many other things next is display of anarchy and bankruptcy is clear and complete anarchy anarchism and bankruptcy both are very clear and complete public and private sector workers or employees are being paid salary without doing any work without any work and migrant workers or laborers are orphaned they are not paid any money even after work this is the state of affairs in our country very sorry sorry the state of affairs next is in march 2020 central government stated in a case in Cent supreme court that no migrant worker is on the road and they are being fed or given twice a day meals whereas the truth after 40 or 45 days of the statement is totally reverse totally opposite people are going home on foot they are not having any money they don't have any meals to uh, eat their children they are elderly their ladies their females everybody is exposed to all sorts of problems and uh, nature and all those things and they are not even being taken care of by the government who boasts of doing everything next is priorities of central government or state governments are far away from national and truthful interests they do not know what is the national interest they do not know what is what is the people's interest and still the claim of being prioritized for the country and for the common people this is the problem next is corona i tell you details in the beginning it was on 23rd march when lockdown was implemented there were total 562 confirmed cases today we have around 67 68000 confirmed cases today we have around 2400 2500 deaths today almost 500 districts are confirmed districts with corona and still the government is bereft of any idea devoid of any idea what to do the lockdown 3 is coming to an end on 17th of may and they don't have any preparation how they are going to do what they are going to do and how the country is going to be back on the track for the development growth happiness everything this is the problem with our government and with the problem with our country that's the problem now next is corona is a pandemic of 21st century it's not sim single uh, or uh, single dimensional it's multi-dimensional and this pandemic multi-dimensional pandemic of 21st century needs to be attended to not only medically or through medicine we have to fight it socially emotionally physically financially psychologically everything everything we have to employ so that we are able to fight corona and we are on top when we are fighting with corona and within foreseeable time we are able to back with all everything in place next government today appears to be despotic undemocratic governance is joke today governance is totally lost we do not know how the governance is done the governments of today state governments or central government they do not know how the governance is taken care of or how they should be governing the country so that the country is on the path to progress next you know when we uh, when I when I look uh, in hindsight or when I think uh, when I apply my brains in hindsight between three to six months maximum by 31st of March 2021 I think that accurate effective application of practical technical ideas with respect to all the problems that the country is facing will most likely bring normalcy and a country on growth trajectory on all counts provided we take care of all the issues we take care of demonization we take care of gst gst needs to be applied afresh gst in the old format is not going to do any benefits or any good to our country and corona again as i told you it's a multi-dimensional 21st century pandemic we need to address it in a totally uh, holist uh, totally you know, holistic holistic way and uh, successfully once we take care of all these things we are back on track to normalcy to growth trajectory everything and we will be a state of happiness we will be in a state of happiness or country of happiness friends as i started in the beginning i requested you to like sub share and subscribe my channel alok kumar india on youtube next upload will be on the subject this is my personal feeling and i hope i am able to convey the message to you in the next upload beware india my next upload is going to be on this topic 
Beware India. 2020 is worse than 1947. Take care. Why I am thinking on these lines? Why 1947 is uh, or will rather pale into oblivion in comparison to the circumstances or situation that we are facing in 2020? Why 2020 is worse than 1947? Let us discuss on this topic in our next upload, which I will be posting very soon, very recently. Friends, once again, before I close this topic, let me tell you once again, let me request you once again, just like, share and subscribe my channel, my uploads and share mostly, share maximum so that the message that I am conveying, that the, so that the ideas that we are discussing here are reaching to the maximum number of people. Thank you friends. Thanks a lot. Have a great future. All the best. And